I was inspired to do this reading today for my patrons. So it seems as if some people may be confused, lost in a maze of different people with different personalities, fighting with people, complications with different relationships. Um, and this is the Ten of Wands, which is you may be stressed out. Uh, uh, and so this could all be around work. You may be working with some people who are really some pills and are just having a lot of difficulties. It seems, though, that this job that you are in has a lot of security and that it is meeting your needs. But it seems as if you may want something more and are trying to figure out a way to get that better opportunity, but you're not exactly sure how to get there. You just know that it's out there for you somehow. And so, so I think, so I think you may be having a difficulty in a job and are kind of wondering how to get out of it. And it, it seems as if, as if like love relationship wise, you may be dealing with somebody that, that you had to walk away from or like some sort of a connection that, that you thought was real. But it seems as if, you know, again, like this card and this card, these cards both indicate just problems with dealing with other people, personality problems, arguments, strife. And, um, and so not all strife comes from outside of us. Sometimes if we have something inside of us that, that we're having a problem t uh, getting out, then we may start problems with people around us. And so sometimes the arguments that are in our life with our loved ones are stemming from our own problems. And so it takes two to tango. I just think that if you're experiencing a lot of difficulties in your life with other people, it may not be necessarily all of the other people. You may be attracting this strife somehow. Just food for thought. I'm not saying you're a bad person or anything. I think we all have our moments. But if you're attracting a lot of strife, there may be a deeper cause that is inside you. So now in the near future, it seems as if there is some celebration. And, and you know, you also get this other card, the Six of Wands. And sometimes these cards indicate some sort of a movement, some sort of a housing opportunity. And you get this eight of wands in your environment, which is, again, like all of these opportunities in your environment. And so it seems as if there may be some sort of a move or some sort of a shift where you change the location of your house or of your job. And so it seems as if like your environment has a bunch of shifts in it. I don't know if, if you're dealing in like a in like a healthcare field. I just wonder if the healthcare field is going to have some shifts now that COVID is kind of transforming and mutating into something different. I think everybody's jobs may be kind of changing and moving around in the healthcare field. And so if that's your field, I would prepare for some upcoming opportunities that are looking good, actually. It does look good. I think there are some challenges, though, that may be coming your way. I do see a big hit of self-confidence, and, and I think you getting all of these opportunities in your house and your work makes you feel like, wow, you know, people appreciate you, and they respect you, and they want to see more of you, and so I think you get the respect that you want, but this respect comes some challenges. I feel like some people are going to ask you to do some things and to manage some things that is is just going to be challenging and so and so I think there's going to be a lot put on your plate say within the next month I think there's just some people are going to ask of you to do some things but it's because they respect you and they think you're the only person who can really do these things and so it says here that you're kind of scared of having your life in a balanced way which is kind of an interesting thought it's it's worrying about being free from worry. Like if you have nothing to worry about, then what's next? And and so your job situation, I think, has a lot to do with that. It's this, it's this idea of I have enough, but I want more. And but in order to want more, 
you have to disrupt your sense of peace and balance and seek out other opportunities that may make you feel a little bit uncomfortable. And, um, and so I just think that some opportunities for you to shift in your employment and in your environment may be coming and and they are to be welcomed but they do come with a certain set of challenges but these are challenges that that you can conquer and that you can overcome and so you may want to choose to get a little bit uncomfortable in order to reach out for that peace that you want when you feel like that that you're reaching for that pinnacle of success that you want in your life instead of just staying still and being happy with what you have you know getting uncomfortable and reaching for what you want and so you do have to have some growing pains though and but I believe in you I believe you can have anything you want now this this card above is the page of wands which I'm kind of curious what this means this is Normally, this means like some sort of a friendship, like planning some sort of a friendship. And so this can this can um, piggyback off of these cards with with the disappointment in the love life. And so this may be expecting some sort of a friend to come and and for a relationship to give you the friendly vibe that you want instead of just wanting something not so serious. I think you want somebody who will connect to you on a meaningful le level. And so this page of wands is, this is you, you want friends, you know, you want, you're expecting friends, but then I feel like, I feel like you get the respect you want from the people you need respect from, but it seems as if a lot of people just need stuff from you and they need your help and they need and they need your support. So I just wonder if you have some sort of a of a major life shift coming up that it's I think it's it's more than relationships. I think it it involves, you know, where you are staying and where you go on a daily basis. And so I get the lovers and the world, which is the completion of a love cycle, and you get the strength card like strength and beauty and a relationship. So stay tuned, stay tuned. There may be a special love situation coming up, but I think I, I'm more interested at this time in this, uh, in this, in these opportunities for work and love. But this is also this eight of wands can also mean that there are people in your environment who are willing to date you. And and so that's kind of an interesting thing. So if if you are looking to date, this might be a good time. You might find people that want to take care of you and lead and take you out and kind of guide the whole relationship process. I would definitely allow the person to to decide what they want and try not and try not to push it. You know, this this four of wands can indicate happy times with with relationships and meeting people that are, you know, just good celebratory times. And the Queen of Cups can mean attaching to somebody, like having such a good time with someone that that you're like, oh my gosh, I want to get to know them more. So this is a good time to get out there. And so so you know, these cards can indicate an opportunity of work and movement in your, um, in your personal life. But then, but then these cards, this is definitely a dating card. And so it's, it's a little bit different than, I guess it is opportunity for multiple people. It's not necessarily saying a specific person. It's saying though, that there are multiple people that are willing to take you out and so I think if you were to pursue any type of online dating avenue, I have a feeling it's crazy on there right now and that you'll just be on there and you'll just be fielding all these people trying to, hey, what's up? What's going on? Let's go out. You know, like all these people trying to talk to you. And so so I think that if, if this was a time for you to get online and to experience that, uh, you might have a lot of success. 
And you might meet some people who can give you some, some interesting good times. So yeah, get out there and enjoy that love and enjoy this movement. This is an exciting season and um, an exciting time in the universe. And, um, and so it starts with a, a period of confusion. And I think it ends with people trying to get to you. But there's all kinds of opportunity in between. So thank you so much for enjoying this reading and stay tuned for more. Goodbye.